trust me, I would never lie to you guys. I would never lie to you guys. Never. Trust me when I tell you something. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas and divos? So, you guys, this is about to be a hopefully I can get it video. Like, seriously, um, this is some really thick hair. Like, um, I'm I know I'm telling you guys this all before the video even starts. Like, I'm not complaining, but this is going to be a challenge. Like, a challenge. Like, who ain't up for a challenge? Okay. This is a first time for me ever working with this company called Yeah Wigs. Like, yeah, girl. Like, yeah. This wig is super Afrocentric. Like, yeah. I'm about to have me a challenge. Like, yeah, let's do this. So, anyway, this is from Yeah Wigs. And this, they sent me, is an 18 inch Afro kinky curly lace frontal. Okay. I have done kinky curly, but I have never done like this right here is I listen, honey. Let me tell y'all something real quick. I done did kinky curly hair quite a few times. And some of the each texture is different depending on the vendor. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this is the first time where let me tell y'all, it just stayed like this, like this, and it's still wet in the cap because the hair is so thick. First time I bleached it. I bleached the knots and it and it lifted like like nothing it lifted so good and then once it dried i let it air dry on a mannequin i went ahead and tweezed the knots you know once i tweezed the knots and pre-plucked it i had to actually go in and rewash it because you know i have brushed the curls out but the first time i washed it and conditioned it it was so like the hair was like a sponge it was just soaking up the water so and it didn't really look like it was conditioned like that to me like you know what i'm saying so then the second time after i had bleed um i had pre-plucked it you know what I mean I went in and I had um why am I losing my mind real quick okay so yeah I went in and I um washed it again and I had to use let me tell you because I have like a bunch of stuff not a bunch but enough stuff on my sink in my kitchen to where you know I'll be okay for conditioner well I hadn't I did not have any conditioner the only conditioner I had was this Jamaican protein conditioner for dreadlocks and braids that I had left on the counter for my daughter's hair. So I used that, okay? Cause I didn't really feel like going upstairs. I said, what harm can it possibly do? Let me tell y'all, it actually did a lot of help to the hair because the conditioner that I did use, it really wasn't like defining the curls. Like it was still kind of like, I can't explain it, but it was kind of like frizzy and I didn't see the curls popping as I was brushing through it. But the protein braid dreadlock, conditioner that stuff works good on this and then while it was still damp I, and i used the mark anthony like i swear by mark anthony this one is my favorite strictly curls perfect curls seven in one leave-in treatment foam it delivers seven benefits in one damn can so you get flawless curls defrizz it defines moisturizes detangles smooth softens and shines so i like this it's free from sulfates and parabens and whatever that other thing says then for just a little extra added help because i know this product always worked for me with some really like thick curly hair is this carol's daughter like this carol's daughter hair milk i'm telling you guys it's amazing it's nourishing and conditioning don't use a lot like don't overdo it because it does really moisturize you will your hair will feel really greasy so if you have like kinky straight hair like kinky straight lace fronts only use a little bit because it gets really greasy feeling it's super cheap it's 125 dollars okay the lace is transparent which is bomb okay it does have the combs and the adjustable straps in the nape and it did come with an elastic band um i think it did i know i sold this in i'm not sure if it came with it i can't remember but it does have the three combs in the front and you guys see i bleached it and then after i bleached it i used the sally beauty supply store purple shampoo and i left it on for like three hours so anyway let's get into this video
this is her. She's finished. She's done. She's really big. Um, I didn't know which way to keep it. I did kind of like it in the middle the way it was because, you know, it just took, I don't know. I just liked it in the middle. So I planned on wearing it like that. But this is like a lot of hair. I don't know how you guys would style this, but I'm really wanting to see if I could get this up in like a big puffy ponytail because this hair texture would be amazing in a big puffy Afro ponytail. Like, you know what I'm saying, you guys? So being that I probably wouldn't wear it out like this because it's a lot of hair. Like it's not, it is a lot of hair, but it's hard for me to maintain this type of hair texture. So, and I love kinky hair, but this is a lot for me. But I like this wig. The hairline is so nice. And like, I did pre-pluck it as you guys, I told as I told you guys, but this wasn't all my work. Like, you know what I'm saying? They did a really good job on this for a first time experience. See if I could put it up in like some type of ponytail, like, look i mean like it does look really cute like this especially if you like that bohemian well not no more i gotta really like it. First of all, this is the biggest bun I've ever had on my head, okay? This hair was like a um, an obstacle course. Like, for real, it was like an obstacle course. It just threw me off my guard. I had to, like, get a breather. This the biggest bun I ever had. This is 150. Girl, you could pass me down to, like, 100. Like, this density is, like, you don't even need a lot of density with this hair because it's so big. I like the wig, and then I don't like the wig. I'm like, I'm just like stuck in the middle. I like it for certain styles and then I don't like it for certain styles. Like that makes sense to you guys. Like if I have to wear it in a bun, then I'm good. Like this is perfect. So in case you do like this Afro kinky curly, like, the hairline is nice. Like for real, the texture is really nice. Like this is some nice texture. I give that to them. Yeah, girl. Oh yes. There was one thing I forgot to tell you guys. When I make a wig, I need for it to be like the best canvas head wig block making heads i need for it to be comfortable i also need for it to be able to fit like an average size head but you know they get expensive they get pricey amazon got some more canvas wig block making heads because i need them for all different things well not all different things but i do need them i like to have like at least three okay if you have like a 22 inch circumference head i wouldn't suggest getting that because the caps do get a little bit tight and you know depending on your hair thickness so anyway i got some new ones from amazon okay and this one is by the seller Levine. i will post their information below for you guys you get your wig making heads in this bag which is cute this one is a 23 inch so i've been getting the 23 inches because 23 inch is perfect for your head circumference of 21 and a half, especially if you have thicker hair, or also the caps. When you start sewing on the bundles, the caps get a little bit tighter. This is the wig block head that I use to make all of the wigs and to pre-pluck them too. You also get a stand, so, and some T-pins and a couple of combs. But you get in one of these where you can clamp, a wig clamp, okay? Just clamp that if to your desk and put your wig on it and make you a wig. I don't know how to put this together. I had to watch a video, okay? And you also get a bag. So then the other one that I have is another one by them. It's the same size. You also get the clamp. This one is a little bit shaped differently. Um, I can't remember what the difference is between them, like what one is used. I do know that the inside is a little bit different. Um, these are more rounded at the top. The head shapes are totally different. 
this is the one that I use to make my wigs with. These are the ones that I use to like style them with. Um, plus the inside is a little bit different. Um, I haven't yet used a wig to make. Now this one is 24 inches, so I don't really know why I got a 24 inch one. But you know, I might have somebody that got like a really big head and stuff. So, you know, I got a wig head for it. But I like these. Like some people make their wigs on like styrofoam heads. Please don't even bother wasting your time. Get you a real wig block making head. They have these available on Amazon. I will link them below. These will make your wigs perfect. If you have a 21 and a half inch head, get you a 23 inch circumference. Anyway, I love you guys. Stay TV and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. And I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Oh,